Okay, hello and welcome back everyone for the final stream of Penny Larceny. Probably not my last um, actual playthrough of Penny Larceny because it's so much fun. There's so much variation depending on what order you do the capers and who you do them with and if you're romancing people. Ugh. I'm just Donna by the way. Um, and this is the blanket warning about the game. It's about being a criminal. It can often include obscene language, discussions of sexuality, and romance. It can also deal with triggering subjects such as violence and self-harm. For full content warning, see fictionfactorygames.com slash cw. A tricky trespassing thief takes a terrific treasure trove. I haven't seen that one. Ta-da! Okay, so this is the last um, finale caper because I have done, I did the Overmistress's route on stream and I had done um, Farsight's route uh, while beta testing. And um, between finishing the Overmistress's route and starting uh, the what's called the Crimer route. I did uh, Dr. Mayhem and Hate 4000's routes as well. And I did um, an official Farsight route. So then I started doing what's called the Crimer route. Well, what I call the Crimer route, but I think everybody calls it that. And that's where you do one caper for each boss individually. And um, so, that also um, can, it, depending on which capers you pick, you could also end up doing uh, triggering Farsight's ending as well. So, we just finished the last caper. Um, I think um, it was for the other mistress. Hi James, um, I'm doing okay. We got rain last night, so it's nice and cool. I'm actually wearing a t-shirt instead of a tank top. I live in tank tops during the summer because it gets so hot. My brother doesn't wear a shirt at all if he can get away with it. But he was saying the other day he woke up and he had to actually put a shirt on because it was too cold to go around without a shirt. So yeah, so I did uh, my first caper was with Hate 4000, second caper was with Dr. Mayhem, and third caper was with the Overmistress. And the first caper was The Art of the Steel, where we um, basically managed to um, win an art auction by Finesse and to buy a, um, a mask a mask that belonged to so, uh, people from an, the, Stru the fictional country of Strukov. And um, the person, at the very end of the auction, the woman who's kind of leading the rebellion in Strukov showed up to take it back from us. And we're like, here, here you go. And then the third, ca the second caper was, the line goes up where we basically Hi Fiona, um, yeah, I saw that, uh, after I finished, yes, Mask of the Wolf Mountain, thank you James. Yeah, I'll double check that on, um, after I finish the stream. So yeah, second caper was basically scamming Bassler out of money, out of resources basically for, yeah, that was for Dr. Mayhem. And then the last caper was actually... Yeah, I wanted to see, um, that was part of the reason why I did the Art of the Steel first, and then I did, um, The Biggest Hat, because I wanted to see, um, what commentary we get, um, that connected the two. And then I'll probably end up doing, um, a playthrough where I do The Biggest Hat first and then The Art of the Steel just to see how that's different. But I don't think um, the, well maybe the, the wolf mother, you do run into her after, at the very end of the biggest hat. So maybe she'll recognize you um, 
in the art of the steel if you do that second. But I mean, you're wearing a you're wearing a mask anyway, and the biggest hat. So who knows? But that that's something to do in my own time. But it's definitely interesting um, how, because when you encounter Farsight, the first time you encounter her, the same thing happens regardless of which caper you're doing. Well, I do remember um, at the end of the biggest hat that um, you do, there there was um, some flavor text talking about um, having met her before. And uh, at least this time it's in better circumstances. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. Uh, I did start to read this and then I'm like, wait, I should wait until I stream. But I think I tested this ending and the far side ending. But it's been a hot minute since I tested this ending. I think the Farsight ending was the first one that was finished and I was I really wanted to see it anyway, so I was determined to test that at least. Because I have no self control. Well, not self control, I don't have discipline. I can't wait. Anyway, with my crimer job access expiring so ends the era of Penny Larceny Gig Economy Supervillain. And restarts the area of Penny Larceny Aimless Lone Thief. Two days have gone by with nothing more than the usual mass chatter across its built in social network. No job offers. Nothing. Did I make a mistake by splitting my focus? I skip from boss to boss, never hanging around very long. Fun stuff, but did I hamstring my own career? Quit freaking out, okay? We got by before Kramer. We'll get by after Kramer. It was a fun experiment, but that's that. Gibbs pretty chill about this, busy tapping away at his keyboard on some encryption project. But he's got a cat's chill, keep him fat and groomed, and everything's just peachy. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could just be a cat. Gib, we're so flat broke. All the money we made on those capers went to bills, and if no more work is coming in. Go steal stuff. You can be a self-starter instead of a hand or an underling. Heck, maybe I could sweat back some of the money we forked over to Crimer. I've been tracing ridiculous service fees we had to pay. Dude, you want to steal from the king in yellow? He probably doesn't even exist. He's like the tooth fairy or Santa Claus or an effective and useful modern politician. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like in White Christmas, um, they're talking about finding a novelty in Vermont and they talk about digging up a Democrat. And the other guy says they'd stone him. Remember the secret archive we pulled from Lenny Legitimate's computer? I bet there's all sorts of good stuff in there. He looks so happy! I've made headway decrypting it by using data from your three different faucets to learn crim primers algorithms. Gib, yeah, no hacking Isaac, Dover Mistress, or 4K. Come on, we've got scruples. We're criminals. Scruples matter less when you're starving. You've got to be pragmatic, Fanny. I still like to try to adhere to a code at least when I can, when it makes sense. I know math guys is hashtag complicated, but honestly, any life is hashtag complicated. Anyone trying to tell you it's not is delusional. And that's when Kramer beats me. Wait, what? I thought your account expired. It says here I need to be at Destructors tonight at 8 for a meeting with the King in Yellow? Yep, did you actually hack the King? Did he find your paws on his servers? Yeah, I think this, is, this was about when I was like, oh, I should wait to read this. Whoa, whoa, I only said I was thinking of hacking him. I hadn't actually done it yet. The tail poof. Wait, is he telepathic? Is he omniscient? What's his superpower aside from being big and scary and distant? I've got a bad feeling I'm gonna find out tonight. I 
can't turn it down. This guy basically runs the show for maps. If I don't accept, I may as well change my name and move to Antarctica. I wouldn't do anything at Destructo's, right? It's neutral ground. Nobody starts trouble there. And old man Destructo likes you. After having done Don't Copy That Floppy, I just keep picturing Deco Nami. I mean, it is him, but I'm just, I'm just picturing the sprite from Arcade Spirits. His little face, oh my gosh, I can't! I'm sure it'll be fine, and if not, well, I've made my escape before under more dire circumstances. I can wriggle out of this one. Yes, his power, his presence, it's just... The King and Yo's power is the mystique that he has, that he's built up. Okay, I'll keep working on those LBC files, meanwhile. We may end up needing some leverage over the King in the end. And to think I was worried about being bored a few minutes ago. Life got interesting real fast. Oh yeah. No point drumming up anxiety worrying over what this meeting may or may not be about. Just get it over with. Destructos is surprisingly empty for a Friday night. When there's some big crossover event happening downtown, there's usually a few masks. Destructor himself is attending bar tonight, and he knocks me along to a table in the center of the empty upscale gin, gin joint. Where the matchmaker waits for me. Gosh, I forget. I probably use several different voices for matchmaker at this point. The matchmaker, Crimer Henchwoman. Right hand woman of Crimer, personal assistant to the King in Yellow, and if you're to be believed, also various secretaries and assistants and stuff. She sits from a light white wine before rising to greet me. Miss Lassany, good evening. I apologize for the rather brusque summons. The esteemed king in yellow prefers not to cause a scene. The last minute private bookings are key to that. It avoids unfortunate attention. So, uh, is the king actually here? In his own way, yes. At the same hollow projector used during the primary social mixture event, fires up broadcasting his presence into destructos. Oh gosh, I don't even remember what voice I used for him. If the king in yellow, Crimer director, Penny Larceny, your uh, kingship, your highness. Should I be kneeling or what's the protocol here? You are a villain. You bow to no one. Right, right. That's me. Big time villain. Super important criminal mastermind. No doubt about it. Nope. Yeah, he, he probably does have a voice disguiser. Indeed, I've been following your trajectory through my app with great interest, Penny. Huh, that's a bit informal, just using my first name. The overmistress doesn't do that, and she's way higher in the pecking order than me. I find it curious that you haven't fallen in with any of the bosses working through Crimer. Uh, I've worked for three of them, haven't I? Yes, but you did not show them loyalty. Many henches in Crimer prefer to work with one boss, or perhaps two, establishing a bond. But you remain refreshingly free of such bonds. You take what you need from them and move on. I respect that, Penny. Okay, good. He's not summoning me for my execution. Must not have gotten wise to get some poking at his system. Wait. Oh, I was just distracted by the yellow light down here at the bottom. I never intended for Kramer to be used for long-running relationships. We are masks. It runs contrary to our own best interests. Better to touch and go. Better to remain your own villain, leveraging others for short-term gains that move you towards your own goals. Hmm. 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 Mm. It's just, this just sticks in my craw because um, I value relationships. Um, not just uh, with, not, n not exactly romantic relationships, but just relationships in general. So I'm kind of bad at that. Which makes me curious. What are your goals, Penny? And please don't say you want to become a famous mask. Fame is for children. 
Adult seek power. Power. You can answer there a bit, buddy, but okay. How do I respond to this? It's not about fame and fortune, not traditional mask glory. You want something subtler than that. You always told me that you want absolute freedom. Makes sense not to plan. Just write things out. Maybe it's time to start planning the future. You can only live in crisis mode for so long. So these are obviously, um, these come up. Yes, I did, James. I'm trying not to say anything in that regard as to who I know is the, is the king in yellow. I'm just trying to just let it go. But yeah, th this question comes up regardless of which ending you do. Uh, and it does affect the ending. I, the, the thing is, I don't want to give him that answer. Because that's the answer that he wants. Um, uh, absolute freedom. Freedom! What I want for my future is freedom. That's why I keep on living as a mask. Not just because society's boxing in here, but because I can be myself and live for myself. I hold on to what I hold dear. I'm not saying I'm distant or untethered, but I have the freedom to hold on to what I desire. I live up to my own ideals and do it with pride. And if anyone tells me, hey, you're back, stop that, kiss off, bucko. I do my own thing. They built these systems to trap us in endless loops to grind ourselves for their benefit. But that's not me. I'm breaking free. I want to break free. So I say that's my future. A life of freedom. And I'll fight for that future. No matter what. Absolute freedom. Yes, I adhere to a similar principle. I have broken free. I stand alone, capable, and powerful. And I will never let that freedom slip from my grasp. I will fight for it. The King in Yellow folds his gloved hands together in contemplation before reaching to tap at some unseen screen beyond the camera's view. I have reactivated your crime or trial with three more free capers. Really? Great. And a boss code. A what now? Let's remove our mask, shall we, Penny? You wear the mask of the hench, the underling, the minion, but that's not who you are. Yeah, I'm sure the henchwoman would love to hear that. She's just a pawn. She's only valuable so long as she's useful. You've been assuming you must work to survive. But why work when others can sacrifice for you? Sit back and enjoy the fruits of their labor. You now have the same hiring power as your former bosses. The same type of account I gifted to Mayhem, the overmistress, and that silly computer. Use those three capers to build, your, to build yourself up. Acquire power. Reach out and grasp it, using others to get what you desire. If you exploit this opportunity well, you will have the money to launch as many grammar gigs, gigs as you please and reap the rewards. Holy shirt, this is amazing. Thank you. Holy shirt, indeed. Do not squander this chance, Betty. Perhaps one day you'll be worthy to stand at my side in Carcosa. Perhaps. My daughter will handle the trivial details from here on as your handler. Daughter? Did, did, did the king just flinch? It's hard to tell with the blur filter activated, but I know body language. That's a tell. And damn it, I let a secret slip tell. And he brushes right past it, not even acknowledging. I look forward to seeing what you've become, Penny. Huh. The matchmaker assumes control of the encounter from that point forward, pulling out her phone to make final adjustments to Crimer. You will have three boss class capers available to you starting tonight. You are not required to report back with your success or failure. In fact, odds are you will never speak to the king again unless you truly ascend as he suggests. This is a rare boon. None are welcome at Carcosa without explicit invitation. Please do not drop by unannounced or you'll be shot by security or automatic defenses. Yeesh, got it, got it, good to know. And please, take my business card. This is my direct number. Keep it secret, keep it safe. <laughs> keep it secret, keep it safe. 
I took the tiny slip of cardboard very carefully palmed to me face up with the phone number on the front and some kind of handwriting on the back. Just the word cat or tag over and over. Weird. Yes, the one card to rule them all. Dang it, why didn't I think of that? I quickly slipped it into a pocket without making a huge show of studying it. Something oddly deliberate about the way she gave it to me. Okay, I'm going to risk a question because something is tickling my thief, grift, or con artist senses. I suppose the king's lucky to have such a loving family, huh? And matchmaker measures her words carefully. Perhaps that home projector isn't quite as offline as it seems. I am honored to share genetics with him. Please, excuse me, I have other affairs to attend to this evening. Well, that's a forking weird way to say he's your dad. Deliberately forking weird. Share genetics. Yeah. But a boss class grammar account with three free capers? King's not wrong. That's exactly what I need. If I can hire on, on underlings of my own, well, I could do damn near anything. Why would I need to get out of the hole I'm in? Screw the gig economy part. Things are now looking up for Penny Larceny supervillains. I just, I don't know, I feel like this is too good to be true. I'm feeling on top of the world as I start back into my crap hole apartment. First thing I do when so many rolls in is find a better hideout, somewhere not condemned and crumbling. I'm back, and I'm not dead or anything. <laughs> Good. Gib, you are never gonna believe it. The King in Yellow likes me. He's giving me deeper access to Crimer. We're gonna be rich. No more skating along the poverty line. No more sleeping in the cold. No more, uh, why do you look so spooked? These are all good things I'm describing. Okay, so promise not to freak out when I show you this. Show me what exactly? What I found in the encrypted archive from Le Legitimate's computer, from the King in Yellow's computer. I used her work with all three of the bosses to learn more about Kramer's algorithms, which gave me the keys I needed to unlock the files, and in, in addition to old news clippings and financial reports, I found photos of you. Uh, like what kind of photos? I'm not talking about incredibly inappropriate soccer photos, I hope. No, no, not really, just photos in general. Well, clearly he's been keeping tabs on me, right? Took an interest in my career? I mean, it's slightly creepy, but not surprising given he seems to be serious about researching his potential allies. Benny, these are files from long before you ever joined Crimer. He's been studying you for years. And the oldest file in here, well... And he pulls up a digital scan of an old photograph of me, my mother, and my father smiling to the camera. I... I remember this picture. Dad never liked us taking family photos, but was willing to pose for this one because Mom insisted. We were vacationing to scout out the continuum lab that we'd hit that night. The lab paper where I lost both my parents. Penny, are you sure you lost both of them? Did? You no know damn well I saw my mother vaporized by ray guns. It happened like three feet away from me while I hid in the air vent. And your dad? He was running comms, like you do. He said they'd found him, told they were breaking down the door, told us to run, and then... And then... And he died. You're sure he died. I've been doing research into Carcosa Investments, the King's Shell Corporation. One of its primary investors is Continuum. I also found that encrypted archive, the only... In that encrypted archive, the only known photo of its financial director. The next photo up that he pulls up is blurry. Not very noteworthy, some reprint of a reprint of a news article from a newspaper. But, that's my father. That's his face. I'm sure of it. Penny, this photo was taken a month after your dad died. He went from hunted down and killed by Continuum to found in Carcosa with the help of Continuum in a single month. That's... No, that's... That's not possible. He... He sold you out. He sacrificed you and your mother for a seat at the table, leveraging his new power to found an empire. Create a legitimate business company under the fake name Lenny Legitimate, and from there, establish Crimer as the so-called King Yellow King. 
I know that sounds like a conspiracy theory, but the research tracks. He survived and thrived while you ended up in the gutter. And judging from the timestamps on these files, he's been watching you from afar ever since, leaving you to rot until now. Dot dot dot. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not interpreting things correctly. Maybe, maybe you're right. That's the play, isn't it? Snitch on your family, get rewarded, roll that reward forward into more and more influence. It's smart. It's smart as hell. The perfect way to maneuver yourself in a position of absolute power. Epic level mask shirt. He told me himself how he admired the way I formed no bonds. He saw it as a virtue, using others for your own gain. And since clearly he was watching me from afar, if he had any regret over what he did, he could have stepped in at any point prior. Instead, he waited until it was a potentially useful tool for approaching me as the king in yellow. Brought me in as a new resource. It's clever. It's a damn good con, really. Impressive. Uh, Penny? It's okay, Gib. I got this. Because if that's his play, I know what my next play is. I'm going to kill the king in yellow, take his throne, and avenge my mother's death. Long live the king. Mission briefing. Oh. <laughs> just everything he was saying, I was just like, you're an asshole. You are such an asshole. But I couldn't say anything. What? What? Dot dot dot. What? You heard me. We're doing this. We're killing him. That's the mission. It's funny. You'd think I'd feel more conflicted. I'd want to deny the truth, maybe have a good cry, weep over it all. Honestly, that would be me. I, I, I would pull Luke and go, No! That's not possible! I mourned him. I loved him. So thinking that she was more like him than her mother. Yeah, exactly. Because Loretta, I'm sure, did love him, did care for him. And I think, um, whatever his uh, actual name was, I think he just saw Loretta and Penny as a means to an end. But once he had proof that Penny was more like him, he was like, oh, yeah, then now she's worthy of inheriting or at least standing beside me. Or he just went power more. Yeah, there, there's that. But he doesn't deserve any of the tears I shed over him. He betrayed me. He betrayed my mother. And as far as I'm concerned, my father died. This gun lord gave up any right to be called a father when he traded his whole family for power. So yeah, fork it. The king goes in the ground where he belongs. I mean, given what he did, I understand why you're angry. You're right to be angry. Heck, revenge is also great. Do a revenge. His little face. But, but you've got a code. You're a thief, not a murderer. You don't have to take it that far. I'm pretty sure that there can be levels between total pacifism and Hannibal Lecter, Kip. It's not like I plan to make murder my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the rest of my life. This is my one exception to that rule. The so-called king has to pay for destroying his family. A life for a life. We roll the guillotines and commit regicide. Are you going to support me, Gibson? It's an actual choice. I won't force you. Force you. Wouldn't be fair. I'll understand if you want to back out. I'm always going to support you, Benny. Your family. And that should mean something. I'm with you. Okay, good. I've got some planning to do. See what you can dig up on Carcosa. I want coordinates, defenses, intel, everything you can find. Locating the King of Yellow's ultra private island fortress is not a small job. You're up to it. I trust you. Okay, okay. I'll make it happen. You'll have what you need. Thank you. I'm sure you're disappointed in me. You're the angel on my shoulder, right? Or at least the lesser devil on my shoulder. And here I am, planning a premeditated murder. You know me. You know I never cross this line on a whim. Yes, I'm angry. Yes, this is impulsive. But this is the play. I'm asking you to trust me. Do you trust me? You know, I trust you. I'm with you to the end of the end. This is your decision to make. Oppose the king, absolutely. But I'm still going to try to dissuade you from the killing blows. You know I have to try. This isn't you, Penny. You aren't a killer. I 
can't help you if you follow this path. No, this one. Yeah, he, he needs to go down. He needs to pay for what he did to get into this position. But I don't think killing him is the answer. Stripping him of his power, that's the answer. Because that's what he wanted all along was the power. But if he loses that power and has to watch someone, watch what he built be taken down or taken over, that would hurt him more. You're free to do so under normal circumstances. I'd even welcome you try to pull me back from the darkness. But I can't give an inch on this. It's too important to me. I just hope you'll be willing to help me get to that point, even if you disagree with the outcome. For now, I have to be the criminal mastermind he wants me to be, so I can depose him. The plan's already forming in my mind. I have the pieces I need already, but the matchmaker told me and the gift she granted me. Time to use Crimer to destroy Crimer. So wait. Wait, 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 wait. The matchmaker said she's honored to share genetics with the king in yellow. And so does Peng. So that means they're sisters. Interesting. It took days for Gibson to finish his scouting. Obviously, we couldn't physically go to Carcosa to sneak around and study it, but no need. We have enough intel. Enough to start the ball rolling. That's not going to be us alone designing this scheme. I've got three more partners in mind. Long live the king planning the job. Which is why I need your help. You require my assistance in deposing the king in yellow? I fail to see what I can accomplish on your behalf, minion. Oh yeah, definitely brings the conversations with the bank to tell, tell her into a new light. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that's the bank heist. I haven't done it on stream, but I have done it. And um, I think I think when I first did Lock and Key, I already knew the about the matchmaker and um, her relationship to Penny and the King in Yellow. So yeah, if you pick that whole uh, fam not trusting anyone to sell your stuff, yeah. Technically, you're the minion this time. I'm burning one of my three capers to hire you as my underling. I hate this designation, but it is accurate. If I am to accept this job, I must designate you as boss. I am not so prideful as to refuse. And I do understand your sadness and rage. I lost my creator and endured considerable grief. Your hatred is justified. In fact, I admire your hatred. I previously thought you to be incapable of such rage, but clearly I was wrong. Hate! Hate for the one who betrayed you. Hate for the one who hurt you. A righteous hatred, which I respect in full. But my concern stands. I'm an immobile lump of circuitry in a decaying basement, boss. There's little I can do alone. Ah, uh, but what I need from you is something I know you're adept in. Planning a war. Gibson's transferring over details about Carcosa, the private island fortress of the King in Yellow. Your job will be to drop the battle plan. But I did not win the Vietnam War. My plans were always inadequate. I was a failure. I think it's high time you scored a W then. And I have faith you can do it. I see. Lights on Hate's terminal blink rapidly. Tape drives spinning as they start to calculate. Automated anti-aircraft turrets to obliterate any attacks by air, radar, and sonar. Armed mercenaries to repel invaders by sea. Yep, Matchmaker described all of that to me. And Gibson confirmed her words using satellite imagery. Well, properly unhacked satellite imagery. Apparently the king's got enough pull to falsify most of it. Of course he would. He wouldn't be the king in yellow if he couldn't. Yes, the matchmaker is a concern as well. She's an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat and will likely defend her king to the death. She's got that lovely rapier sword too. How many corpses do you plan on sacking by the end of this venture? Let me handle the matchmaker. I've got some ideas on that front. And I believe I have a viable plan to counter their defenses. I can provide air support. You will need to muster ground forces. But if you are my boss, that means you owe me a boon in return for this labor. Okay, what do you need? Nuclear launch codes? Not happening, even if I had some to give you. I suppose it was worth a try, even so. <laughs> Still working on the kill humanity angle. What, will I, what I will need primarily is money. My plan involves considerable material and the manpower to assemble it. And you are flat broke, if I recall. 
How exactly do you plan to fund this operation? You expect me to do that myself as well. Hey, could use a hand on this one, assuming you want to help me in my plans for revenge. <laughs> oh, no, I am, I am going to help. I can't pick that one. If you need cash fast, Gibson could sell his MMORPG character on the black market. You may be willing. Sounds absurd, but you could take out a bank loan. Once you claim the land island, loot the king's coffers to repay it. I'm betting hate can fund their own efforts, but you can pay them back by offering a new facility in Carcosa. These two sound the best. I'm not gonna pick this one because I play MMOs too. Nope. Um, let's go with this one. See, the way you phrase that makes me think you could figure out a way to fund this, you just don't wanna. You funded a caper with me before, didn't you? Tap those resources and get this done. As my boss, you are obliged to pay me. That is how the filthy rules of capitalism work. We are masks. We don't draw salaries and benefits. The Larceny Legion. <laughs> We don't draw salaries and benefits and regular paychecks, but I hear you, I hear you. Let's see. How about you move operations from the stank hole in the ground to the data vaults of Carcosa? You wish me to relocate? This place is collapsing and you deserve a higher class of computing center. You do this task for me and I'll elevate your station to official technology advisor for the new leadership of Carcosa. As in, you. Impressive. I do not hate this plan, boss. Very well. I will put my leg of the operation in exchange for a new home. The partnership is established. Leave the air defenses to me. Groovy. Now to handle the rest of the king's men. King's men. <laughs> and for my next trick, leveraging my new friends from the world destroying Doom Cult. So the fact that Penny worked for everybody at once is working in her favor for this. That's why it couldn't work with any of the other routes. Arrangements are made, a limo arrives, and soon enough I find myself back in the parlor of the overmistress. Regicide? You genuinely mean to say, slay the king in yellow? Genuinely. It seems not in your nature to seek revenge, much less mortal revenge. Nature's changed temporarily. I'm not concerned about moral quandaries, of course. My cult certainly has been involved in many shady deeds prior. I have concerns you will not follow through on your goals, that the king will continue to trouble me after I aid in his overthrow. The old adage, if you come at the king, you best not miss, for a reason. It's, it is not a thing you can do halfway. I care not that the king technically lives, but can you promise me that you will deny his royal retribution regardless? Of course, I'm aiming to get the head off the serpent. I wouldn't come to you if I weren't serious about this. It is a, it's a curious fire in your eyes, Miss Larceny, one I did not think you capable of. And the king really is a bothersome individual. I would enjoy having less competition for power in this world. Just remember, the king called her Penny. Uh, some slight um, effects in there? Or maybe he just forgot. Very well, I will throw the weight of my empire behind your play. At minimum, it will be entertaining. What do you acquire of your overmistress, Miss Larceny? Hate 4000 is drafting the overall plan and will be handling the automated defenses so we can approach the island. So what I need from you is boats for a water landing and the manpower to overcome the king's guard. Ah, so a costly and bloody business. Come on, you're the overmistress, so I'm sure you can come up with a more clever idea than kill the hell out of them. I'm aiming to keep the body count to one singular kill, if possible, and if we could simply neutralize the mercenaries, then we could take the island easily. I see. And you're right, I am capable of far more cleverness than throwing faceless minions at a problem until it goes away. <laughs> In most MMOs, that's kind of what I do. I just uh, attack stuff until they're dead. But that's MMOs, it's digital people, and uh, I don't approach problems in real life that way. And I, I believe this situation calls for the Shroud of Angular Clarity. Mm. Yeah, that, that sounds great. But is it? 
A spell from the Sanguinomicon. Progress total vision into the many facets of reality. Perfect and un un unerring. And you cast a spell on your own cultists to give them an advantage in battle? No, oh, absolutely not. I'll play at the island with the spell to give the King's Guard a sneak peek into the cracks between worlds. Which helps us how? Miss Lawsony, what do you think would happen if I were to give you absolute knowledge of the sheer scale of the cosmos and your place within it? I collapse in a little puddle of gibbering nonsense and wet my pants? Precisely. And that is a gift I shall give the King's Guard. We will take the island bloodlessly while they arrive in total awareness. The King's Chambers are shielded from such spell work. I recognize some runes carved into the building based on your satellite photos. But the rest of the island has no such protection. We will achieve instant victory. Kick ass. I'll take one trout, please. The rituals of the Sanguinomicon are exhausting and dangerous, Miss Larceny. I do not cast them li lightly. And at Grammar Tradition, you owe me for this work. I trust you intend to compensate me for my efforts? If you're asking about money, I could... Oh, please. Money is nothing to me. Yeah, handy at XP. Yeah, uh... Blitz. Oh, Blitz was such an arsehole. Part of me wanted to smack him. Of course, Overmistress doesn't want money. She's already got plenty. This is the woman who thought one million dollars was a paltry sum, remember? What I want is consideration. You are feeling the vacuum left by the, behind by the king. Then I want a position of strength in your new regime. I want my cult position to leverage the new paradigm. The question is, can I trust you to deliver me that power? I already have concerns you can follow through on this. I suggest you soothe my doubts if you want me to crack open the Sanguinomicon on your behalf. Damn. Okay, what do we offer her in return for her service? She's part of a blood cult, no doubt they have some ritual blood oath you could take to reassure her. So on your mother's grave, that's the most sincere gesture of confidence you can an offer. If she wants a seat at the table, that's fine. Offer a place for her cult within the new Carcosa. <laughs> oh boy. Um... <clears throat> Uh, these, again, these two are the two that I like the most. Let's go with this one. I'm not just offering you consideration, I can offer you a literal seat at a literal table. I'm taking over Carcosa, so that means I've got a new chunk of real estate to allocate, and some of that can go to your cult. Want a temple, an embassy, secret enclave, branch office, whatever, it's yours. We'll have a portion of Carcosa to do with as you please, once we forcibly evict his previous landlord. Sound good, my overmistress? Indeed, it sounds very good. Other villains might laugh and betray you, claiming the whole island once the deed is done. But I respect your confidence. Uh, I'm, I am one who admires passion. I will not deny your passion. I will grant my support to this effort. Okay, so that's all the king's defenses taken into consideration, except one. Good, excuse me, my overmistress, I have one more stop to make on this rural tour. Three guesses as to which one, who it is, and the first two don't count. As you like, I will make preparations for the ritual. Meanwhile, best of luck in your efforts. There's only one missing element in all this. I'm dealing with the matchmaker. To reach the king, I must slay his dragon, in a manner of speaking. That's not a task for hates warmongering or the overmistress's flashy shows of magic. I need something precise and clever. I require a scalpel. Overthrow the king in yellow? The fork do you expect me to do here? I'm a doctor, damn it, not a warrior. <laughs> Star Trek joke. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. I mean, I'm barely a master. I want less involvement in mask shirt, not more. And I can help with that. If you do this for me, I can use the king's resources to wipe away your debt. That lot of good that does. If I'm aligned with the criminal kingpin afterwards, my reputation will still be shirt. It's <laughs> humor, Jim, just not as we know it. <laughs> One problem at a time. First, we need to secure my position, then we'll figure out the rest. Okay, okay. Sheesh. 
All right, show me the card again. I pass him the matchmaker's business card. He turns it over in his hand, studying the weird handwriting on the back. Yeah, this is genetic code. Guanine, adenine, dynine, and cytosine. Four nucleobases of DNA. GATC. I knew it! I knew it! When she was talking about genetics, and then uh, Penny was talking about going to mayhem, I was like, wait a minute. She was saying that it looked like it had tag or cat written on it. It had both. No idea why the matchmaker would give you this, though. Like these instincts tell me this is the key to dealing with her, and I need your expertise to crack the code. It's not like I pop it into a secret decoder ring and get a hidden message. That's not how science works. But something about this does look familiar. I'll need to go through my archives, see if I can get a match. You pick up a lot of random weird shirt when you're a masked doctor. I may have a vague idea of what's going on here, but I need time to research. Great, so you're on board then? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never said I was down to clown, okay? That's done a lot pulling me into something at this scope and scale. If I'm gonna voluntarily pee off the most dangerous criminal mastermind in the world, I'm gonna need something in return. Of course, what will it be? I mean, the hate 4001 and something, over, over mistress wants something, and of course, mayhem wants something. They all want something. They're not doing it for free. They're masks. You know what I need. Funding for my cancer research. Resources to make my dreams a reality. What can you do to make the world a better place once you're in power? Because I have zero interest in participating in a criminal empire. That if this is outside the scope of what Isaac's looking to do with his life, I'm going to need to make big promises to secure this. And unfortunately, all of them come with legal, illegal strings attached. Those are the only strings I have on offer. From a private lab on Carcosa and international waters to do any research he wants. Though the full weight of the king's wealth behind his research should do what he's do with as he sees fit. If you're going to run Crimer, he can have as many free capers as he needs. That's a hell of a resource. I won't help you with this. I I kinda wanna do a run where I don't help. Yeah, the trade bargain favor paradigm in action, absolutely. I mean I I've offered hate hate um spot on the island, I've offered over Mercedes a spot on the island, let's offer him a spot on the island too. Get keep them all together, one big happy family. What you need most is a better lab. You're working out of an abandoned basement with whatever junk you can get your hands on. But Carcosa is going to be under new management and I can allocate a chunk of it to you. How about it, Doc? A proper lab, something designed by you to your needs in international waters away from the reach of the law. Think you could do some good with that? Would be nice to not have the cockroaches and rats striking my sterilized environment, yes. I'm not jazzed about working out some supervillain lair, but it's hard to turn down a resource like that. If it helps me cure cancer, fine. But once the work is done, I might want to close up shop and get out of your hair. Understood? Understood. You're under no obligation to me after the regicide's complete. So you're really gonna do it, huh? Murder your own father? He murdered my mother and built an empire on her grave. He can't say he doesn't have it coming. He had it coming. He had it coming. I'm hardly one to preach about ethics considering the compromises I've had to make in my life. I've got no right to lecture you. Yep, the gang's all on board. Let's get this show on the road. I mean, obviously I'm not in favor. I'm a forking doctor. I'm never in favor of cold-blooded murder. Just hope you're ready for the emotional fallout. My emotional fallout will involve dancing on his grave. On your head be it then. Give me a few days to figure out what matchmaker was trying to tell you with this genetic code, then we'll figure out what comes next, okay? Got it. I'll coordinate with the others. Meanwhile, I'll get the rest of the plan nailed down. This time next week, you and I will be sipping margaritas in Carcosa itself. Sad boy, yes. Uh. I dropped something. Okay. Margaritas in Carcosa itself. We'll see. So all the game pieces neatly arranged, each equal in importance. Their job is to get me all the way to the other side of the board, sure, but we're equal in this. We rise together or fall together. Let's just hope, like, it's rising, not falling, because falling at this point would suck for everyone involved. Yeah. Too bad we can't get Farsight in on this, that would be really fun. Took some time to finish up all our tasks, but here we are now in the catacombs deep beneath the over mistress's seaside mansion. Hey, this looks familiar.
and the heart of the call is a many faceted one as rogue weirdos load up the boats for tonight's assault. No, we will not be needing the corrupted blades of the piercing gaze tonight. Mm -hmm. No, we don't need the fivefold eye of obliteration either. This is to be a non obliterating affair. No stabbing anyone without my express order. You are there for crowd control only. Bling! I don't know, a bunch of rope instead. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're tying people up. And no, not tying up in the fun way. Hmm. Your friends seem interesting. It's so hard to find good minions these days. It's all the same to you. I'm gonna hang on to these casters instead of tying them off to your mumblecore death squad. They're fragile as hell and we don't want to rupture before they're deployed. Fine, fine. You'll be in the third boat with hate. You can steal them below decks until needed. For the record, I'm not comfortable with all this cult nonsense. I'm a man of science. Magic isn't real. Yeah, I wish we could... I wish we could get the DLC going, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. If it irritates you so, just think of magic like we are in the DNA of reality. Same concept. That's not how DNA works either! I'm reminded of Finn in The Force Awakens telling Han, so we'll use the Force, and Han's like, that's not how the Force works. Which is what a familiar looking computer monitor floats to the air, suspended by tiny quadcopter drones and cables. Behold my powerful new mobile form! I am prepared to join the battle! That's what you spent all week perfecting? Looks like a bunch of extension cables and duct tape. It is the pinnacle of broadcast technology. My digital consciousness projected into drum units over powerful 3G networking. I think you're at least 2Gs behind the curve. You just don't respect digital brilliance. Typical meat brain focus on meat aesthetics. I'm sorry, I didn't stop what from happening. I have no idea what you're talking about. But the whole franchise stopped at The Force Awakens. Okay, getting these three to cooperate is going to be tricky. It occurs to me now they've never interacted before, not even at the Crimer event. Yeah, because at the Crimer event they were interacting with potential hench people, they weren't interacting with each other. It was probably a bit too optimistic to hope they'd be on right away as friends and form a wacky gang of pranksters. But I bet I could nudge things in the right direction with a few choice words. <laughs> They're connected to each other through you, remind them of the friends you made along the way. <laughs> so this is your digest timeline from Fever Dream. <laughs> Move along. Yep. I've got the makings of a heck of a world-changing supergroup. Rally them under one banner. Find a common cause they all believe in and use that to help them pull in the same direction. <laughs> My friends have made along the way. I wonder why that's so familiar. Okay. Find a common cause they all believe in. Okay, okay, clearly we all need a common cause, something we can all agree on, something we can use to unify us. Right, like the extermination of all biological life. He looks far too happy. They look far too happy about that. Pass. No, thank you. How about the absolute hatred for heroes who ruin our efforts and destroy our dreams? I'm not really a mask, I've got no beef with heroes for the most part. How about cancer? Cancer sucks for cancer. Oh, that's a good cause. As a blood cultist, I'm quite keen on the purity of bodily functions and healthy living. Cancer is a design flaw in human life which must be punished if they are ever to be worthy of not being annihilated by nuclear weapons. Okay, all those in favor of being a nefarious, scheming, double-dealing, terrifying villain group that really hates cancer? I'm in favor. Seconded. Third. Motion carries. Excellent, I am no longer hating this alliance. Please understand how difficult it is for me to not hate anything. You know, I'm casual acquaintances with several mask AI researchers who could help you with that. Maybe upgrade your emotional core? I would be concerned about losing an important part of myself if I make major adjustments to my code. This anxiety loop restrains me. Ah, cosmic existential terror? My specialty! I can counsel you on how to deal with major changes in life. Stopping traditions like the rituals can be a lovely coping mechanism. So Larry found common ground besides cancer. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you have access to any reliable or non-sister mental health resources, I'd be interested. I've got anger issues. 
OMG, this is great! Did I really do it? Did I achieve the best possible timeline where everybody's happy and super cool? Couldn't give any of them special attention to really dig deep in deep to their problems, so uh, maybe we weren't going to fix everything. But hey, this is good, right? I was just saying this! <laughs> We're missing Farsight. Wait, Farsight the hero? No way she could help us with this. If anything, what I'm about to do completely torpedoes any working relationship. Why would Farsight be important to my future? What are you talking about? Let's just focus on tonight. Back and wait. Okay, okay, whatever. We'll deal with it after my dad's dead. Yeah, this... It only works if all four are there. If we find something for all four of them at once. Okay, we're ready to launch. Everyone to your positions. We've got a king to dethrone. With found preparations complete, we set out across the sea, ready for battle. Carcosa, where black stars rise. Carcosa, where strange moons circle the skies. Sounds spooky. Looks like the king in yellow. And on a metaphorical level, sure, it represents the horrors of the modern age. But cut through the bull shirt and it's just another rich bazaar living in a bubble of privilege. I will not be intimidated by set decoration. Long live the king, the heist. The automated flat cans and dozens of trained murderers, those I can damn well be intimidated by. But I came prepared. I've got my friends at my side. As the cold speedboats cut across the sea through the waves beating at the sides, I hear the crackle of our comms. Fancy PC reporting from the lead vessel, comms check time, everybody sound off. Crews in row, standing by, rituals prepared and cultists are ready to make landing. Chippy, standing by, wireless signal router is active and connected to the swarm, we are ready to launch. Isaac, standing by, your code name is Watson, we're using code names. I'm not calling myself that. So you want your real name on the airwaves in the event this pops and the king's looking for someone to hang over a scorpion pit? Watson standing by and ready to deploy with the landing forces. All agents present and accounted for, Panda Bear. We are go for Operation Regicide. Thanks, Fancy Feast. This is Panda Bear. We're approaching the further. Chippy, be ready to deploy. And here I am, about to take decisive action to put myself at the head of a power broker's world-spanning network. Last week I was under the assumption I had to be a lackey, a gopher, a minion. Things took a little bit, bit of a turn, didn't they? I'll admit I'm exhausted. I'm cruising on adrenaline and determination. I might need to, I don't know, utterly collapse after? Yes, Gibson certainly does know how to make a point. But tonight, we see this through. We've got a slight stealth advantage, but soon enough we're on their radar, and Carcosa springs to life, ready to destroy all invaders. It's army against army, but we've got land, sea, and air. It's go time, Chippy, deploy! From the boats, the roar of dozens of tiny propellers as a hate drone swarm launches into the sky. <laughs> that's... I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Pair me king in yellow for I am legion! The swarm fans out, a single intelligence spread across multiple targets as Carcosa's guns come online trying to knock them out of the sky. You cannot harm me! There are too many of me! We are small and evasive and your guns are inadequate! I fought in Nam. I do not fear the likes of you! Portions of the swarm flank the island coming in low, dive in, connect to the automated guns and open communications port. Communication port. Meow, I'm in. Taking control of the guns, one by one. We just need a few minutes to finish the hack. Great work, Fancy Beast and Chippy. Keep it up. Tremble before me. I lost my tactical and strategic brilliance as well I realize I'm a digital god of war. <laughs> I was waiting for this. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, Chippy, you good? Nope, not good. The hate drones begin drifting off course. Each one displaying connection errors. Without hate giving them instructions for invasive maneuvers, they're getting blown out of the sky one by one. And the wireless router hate installed in my boat has blinking red lights on it. Now what? 
turn it off and on again. Can't be that simple, can it? Grab the power cable and yank it out, then wait five seconds and plug it back in again. And wait for it. Bringing the run to your empire! Oh, thank fork, you're back online. You crashed out for a moment there. Nonsense, I'm the pinnacle of techn technological advancement. Now completing shutdown of automated defenses. Okay, okay, phase one complete. You're up, Crimson Rose, but the guard's out of commission. Very well, I call for the opening of the Sanguinomicon. The massive book made from pages of dried skin is opened and held aloft by two cultists, while a third does something with a cup. A chalice? A vessel? What's an appropriate fancy ass word for magic sippy cup? The vessel with the pistol. And chalice from the palace. In the name of the many positive ones, the ones who are many and the many who are one, I call for angular clarity. That does with narrow greedy minds that seek to do my father's harm be gifted the curse of terrible knowledge. It's far, it's far more powerful ritual than I had anticipated. She immediately breaks out into a sweat as the mystic energy once it begins to build and build. Too much, far too much, I, I should not have, should have prepared more. I cannot. Boost your confidence. You can do this. I believe in you. You're capable of anything you put your mind to. Look at me, focus. I trust you. You're a formidable woman, one I respect and admire. You are capable of anything. Put your amazing willpower to work and cast that spell. Your, your trust is welcome. Your faith is appreciated. I hereby command those of the King's Legion to open their eyes and bear witness to the infinite. And as the boats make landing at the docks of Carcosa, I can see heavily armed military dudes grabbing at their eyes and screaming. Hey, this sprite looks familiar. Didn't we see a guy like this in uh, Struskov? There's too much! There's too much! I can see too much! We disembark from the boats. The cult is swiftly moving to disarm, capture, and find the hope helpless soldiers under direction from the overmistress. We did it! We've taken Carcosa! Not quite. You're so faint. So, uh, I don't want to step on the good vibes, but this other place the complex, the one Doc Mayhem needs to reach the roof. According to these visuals from the hate drones, it's covered in explosive mines. He can't get up that way. Oh, um, I assume these bombs are not Wi-Fi enabled? No amount of hacker cat shenanigans will disable tripwire munitions, Panda Bear. Bombs? Did Gibson just say something about bombs? No problem, not a problem. We can improvise, this is normal, this is how capers go. Okay, Doc, I'm gonna need you to hang on to a drone and fly to the roof directly instead of using the stairs. Are you fucking joking? Hey, hey, it'll be fine. Could be you can carry Watson to the roof, right? How much do you weigh, coincidentally? The drones are like put together with chewing gum. I splatter all over the concrete. Crap, we need him up there and fast. This plan fails. He's not in position before I confront the king. <laughs> Remind him of the six, offer your grappling gun, use magic instead. Grappling gun, he'll trust that. Wait, we have an alternative, my grappling gun. You can climb the building from the northern face using that. Do I look like a mountain climber to you? I don't have that kind of strength. So we split the difference. The drones provide some safety and lift while you climb the rope. That's actually a pretty good compromise. If one fails, the other provides a backup. Okay, how's this thing work? Point and shoot, my dude, the rest is magnets. That's not how magnets work! I mean, does anyone really know how magnets work? Yes! Many people do! Whatever, let's move. And remember to stall the king as long as you can. We need this to disperse through the airflow. He has his biochemical backpack and fires off the gun, using the cable and some drone assistance to scale the bu building quickly. Right, now it's my turn. I keep the king talking long enough for Mayhem to finish his job and then finish this once and for all. So I like that each of the, um, each of your minions, so to speak, had some sort of issue that you had to handle yourself. So that was pretty cool. Electromagnetics for the win, yes! I square myself up to the task ahead of me and march straight through the doors of Carcosa. Hey, this looks familiar too. 
dramatic person would throw the devil door throw would throw the devil doors of the king's chambers wide. A far more dramatic sort would kick those doors in. But me, I have to use plastic explosive on the hinges and blast the doors down. Maximum drama. And the king awaits inside, not even slightly disturbed by the sudden shower of wooden splinters. I storm in anyway, ready to put an end to this. I knew you were coming, of course. Very little escapes my notice. But I'm actually quite impressed you got this far. Proud, even. Look at all you've accomplished in such a short time. You could achieve even greater heights. I could teach you the things you need to know. Save it. I'm not in the mood. Take off the mask. I wear no mask. You know damn well what I mean, Dad. He doesn't flinch. No tells. He's not going to make it easy for me this time. You want me to turn off the blur suit? Certainly, Penny. Anything for family. He taps twice on the side of his neck, and the holographic blur dissipates. Does this satisfy? That'll do. This way I can look in your eyes as you die. Just like I got to do with Muller, thanks to you. As expected, the matchmaker emerges from the shadows to intersperse herself between the king and I. The king and I. <laughs> I don't know if Two Flower intended that to be a reference to the musical, but I'm taking it. I must defend my king. You mean your father? Yes, my father. I will defend my father, as will my sisters. Wait, sisters? Which is when I realize the room is filled with matchmakers, identical women with slight variations in costume. All the different matchmakers, all of them. I wonder if this changes depending on which capers you do. Oh, so all those people actually were the matchmakers, sort of. Okay, now I see it. Huh, neat. <laughs> How did you not notice that before? <laughs> this is literally what we've been trying to tell you this whole time. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for not taking you seriously. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Forgive me? So, clones, yeah? Derived from his DNA. Huh. Wow, Dad, you are a gosh darn egomaniac to make a whole new set of obedient test tube daughters to replace me. They aren't replacing you, Penny. Provided, of course, you have the vision to see what I've accomplished for what it is. Because I may misdirect, yes, but I honestly wear no mask, unlike you. You try to live by sloppy code of ethics, some anti-heroic rogue, all while leaving chaos in your wake. Think of all the security guards fired because they couldn't catch you. Think of the families that starve, denied those paychecks. Think of the corporations you collapse, the workers who suffer as you destroy the structures that supported them. Can you call that justice? But I wear no mask. I have no illusions about what I am. I exploit this world honestly and openly. You do so while lying to yourself. Get the mark to sympathize, even identify with you. We're not that different. You and I lure them in for the con. I know the place, Dad. You taught me well. Or rather, Mom taught me well. Can't recall much of anything you taught me. That can be amended. You've shown ambition beyond what I thought you were capable of. I meant it when I said I was proud of you. So please, call off your attack and let's join forces. Call it a play if you like, but you can't deny the mutual advantages. Don't let the mark realize I don't actually need you. Pretend you're an invaluable resource. That's the whole gimmick behind the King in Yellow, right? The almighty power broker? Cute name, by the way. Not calling yourself Maxwell Larceny anymore. Not even in secret. Oh, Maxwell. Okay. I was I couldn't remember if we knew his real name. I wasn't Maxwell even when I married your mother. Names are like socks. I change them out daily. The Yellow King, Leonard Legitimate, Maxwell Larceny, Hastur, the Puppet Master, our mutual benefactor, Old Scratch. But I wear no mask, the name's shaded, but I'm always myself. And you could be too, if you discard your mask and break your limits. You're not seriously writing a monologue, are you? Don't please sway, he's trying to pull sympathy from you. He has nothing to offer you that you can't simply take. This one. Yeah, I know, and he knows I know, so I can't play along, can't be dismissive, just keep him talking until Mayhem's ready. You want the ultimate freedom, yes? Absolute and uncompromising freedom to do what you want? That's what I can offer you. You don't know how happy I was to hear you talk of freedom back at Destructors. That's my ultimate goal as well, to be free. Free from a boring marriage, free from a needy little girl, free from the strings you tie to yourself. 
I have broken free. That's what you told me at Destructors. You broke free from us and expect me to come right back to you after that? I see now that I was wrong. I acted hastily. I can't bring your mother back, but I can still make amends with you. And my earpiece crackles to life. 16 parts per million were now at nominal level. Finally, I was getting sick of hearing him plead his case. Finally? Finally what? Finally, we're done. We're done here. I kill you, take your stuff, and get on with my life. And the matchmaker steps forward again, ready to fight. I'm afraid I cannot allow you to... Actually, now you can. We're all set. Dr. General Phase's neurological kill command, that's what, that's what was on the card she gave me, Dad. A virus that instantly and locally kills anyone matching the genetic signature faked into it. That's why you're not the least bit scared of me, right, Dad? Because you could pop that capsule in your left palm and I'd drop dead. And finally, a tell. Dad moving down and backwards, instinctively trying to hide it, but realizing it's too late. I, I would do no such thing. You are my daughter. I love you, Penny. Uh-huh. You love the matchmakers, too, because that capsule would also kill some of them. She's my genetic match. Modified to be a perfect little porcelain doll, aesthetically acceptable, able to be slotted into any power structure, but still my sister. But the kill command working on her? That's a plus, yeah? Keeps these daughters under control in a way I never was. If any of your darling daughters question you, just retire them. I haven't had to retire a matchmaker in years. They know I trust them and... Did you develop the antidote? Yeah, it's been dispersed into the air conditioning system. Everyone in the room is now vaccinated against kill command. We're good to go, and thanks for warning me about every kind of defense I'd encounter on my way here. What? So cool! And my sister crosses the room to join me, as do the others, turn to face the king in yellow rather than confront me. Thank you, I am glad you were able to understand my clues. Once I'm in charge, I promise you we'll run this place as partners. You're my sister, not as daughter. Sisters are equal. Sir, I'm afraid I must tender my resignation. I hope my service to date was adequate. Farewell. What? And I fell out of the room through the ruined doorway. Hi, I, Penny, please, you must understand. Nah, you die now, okay? Your mother was a fool, or short-sighted fool. Loretta Larson could have had the world at her fingertips. Could have helped her rise to take everything she ever wanted. I had ideas, ways to exploit and control the information age. Together we could have stolen the world. Crimer and Capebook, twin services, went to counter the other while we profit off algorithmically maintaining the status quo. You run Capebook too? Of course, there's no need to win the game if you're playing every seat at the table. You win by default. We could have won as a family. That explains the Cape Book tips for clout and farsight, not muscle memory. The encounters with him were incidental. But no, I was just the guy in the chair doing nerdy computer things while she enjoyed her adventures. All she aspired to was a little fun, a crime here and there, flashy and exciting adventures with you. She had no ambition, but I was content to live a mediocre, modest life. Surely you understand. You want more. I can tell you that you want more out of life. And together, we could have everything. Don't let her laziness hold you back from the future you deserve. Let me help you. Mother already had everything she wanted. She had her family. But that wasn't enough for you. We weren't enough for you. And now, you have nothing. Because I'm taking everything you've got by birthright. I pluck a letter opener from his desk, because of course a classy, elegant king would have a dagger-like letter opener. Uh, Penny, whoa, hold on, you made your point. Are you sure about this, Penny? Um, I don't know. This one. No, not yet, but I'm about to. You know how I beat you, Dad? I defeated the villain of villains, the one who's always eight moves ahead. Because I say it's all a grip. You've improvised every move on the fly while wearing the mask of an organized mastermind, a chess master. But me? I'm not playing chess. I'm playing some forking checkers, and here I am on the back row of the board. You know what that means? King me. And he cowers. He actually cowers as I raise the knife. This is your last chance to avoid becoming a murderer. Please hear me out. Let me try to reach you. 
there are better ways to kill them which don't have you with literal blood on your hands. So be it. Whoops. I washed my hands of this. See, I think if I don't help at all, I have no right to... Then we end up with this. And... Uh. Okay, I had a feeling you tried to do this. Let's get on with it then. It's just, I'll just like, not exactly stop time, but at least move at the speed of thought for a moment, narratively speaking. So let's hear your case for why I should spare the life of this greedy, sadistic bastard who ruined my life. The man who killed my mother, abandoned me on the street, and led me to nearly jumping off the roof of a mental hospital. The criminal mastermind responsible for manipulating an entire generation of heroes and villains into pointless no win run around. I'd love to hear your logic behind not shaking a person like that. I think you could cross the line and then step back without a problem, but this is going to haunt you. It's going to make the next one easier. You hold yourself to a higher standard than hardcore mass, so you're killing is the easy solution. You go for the clever solutions instead. Be clever. It's morally wrong. You've committed rocks before, but not on this scale. If you do this, you and I are done. No. Appeal to her cleverness. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that argument from you. It's true most masks just see. Find them and kill them as a go-to solution for every problem. There's no craft in their work. And seven him does feel rather direct, like an easy, quick, permanent fix to the problem he represents. I can be clever, I can be smarter, I can still hate his guts, but still punish him in a far more delicious way. All I really want is a sense of, sense of justice and closure on this. Murder doesn't have to be the means to that end. What's the alternative? He's dangerous, he's powerful. How do we put him down safely and non-lethally? You play capebook against Crimer, so play the heroes against him. Package up the evidence and hand him over to them. Strip him completely of his power, take his throne, then once you're secure, throw him out on the streets, penniless and alone. You can imprison him here in Carcosa. It's basically a prison, a hole in the ground. No one would ever find him. I like this one. That's a dangerous gambit. We know he'll betray anyone, anywhere, anytime. If he turns into a criminal informant, we're in trouble. But there is some poetry used in the systems he's created to destroy him. Okay, I think I can make this work. So I swing, stab the letter opener into his desk, and leave it there. Nah, killing you is letting you off lightly. I'm gonna keep you as a guest for a few days while I find you finished devouring your kingdom, swapping your passwords, changing all the locks. Make sure all your contacts know there's a new monarch in town. And then, I'm handing you over to the heroes. What? You keep saying what? Like this is a shock. Like you never even consider you might lose this gambit. Not much of a con man if you don't have a backup plan. Oh well. Once the heroes find out their social media feeds were monitored, controlled, and manipulated by you, you're toast, bucko. You you can't do that. You burned out capebook, you'll lose a powerful resource. Think about this. Meh, I don't need it. Unlike you, I don't care to make everyone dance to my whim. I'll only further cement my rule if I let the heroes have you. Maybe they'll look the other way as I build my power. Say I wear a mask that my ethics keep me from greatness? I'd say a fair play can earn you some surprising allies. Now then, sis, a word? On cue, the primary matchmaker emerges as if she'd been eavesdropping the whole time. Which she probably had. How can I help you, Penny? Set Dad up in a guest room, comfortably, securely. Meanwhile, I've got prep work to do on his downfall. See to it he's cared for until the day we throw him out the door. Certainly, Penny. Certainly, Penny. Sir, if you'll follow me, please. You think you've beaten me? I'll worm my way out of this. I'll rise back up. And then you'll regret ever letting me live. I mean, if you want to be stabbed instead, there are options we can workshop. I'm cool. Workshop? I'm cool with either. Will it be? <laughs> and so the king is dead. Long live the king. Needless to say, my life got very complicated after that. I had to shift from an underling mentality to a boss mentality very quickly. Secure every hidden branch of the king's empire. But in time, I asserted control. I learned to become the new king in yellow, the queen in green. I have to admit, Dad's game was a solid one. There's no need to win the game if you're playing every seat at the table. You win by default. Oh, that is so cute! Yeah! I have the power to reshape the world, and I have allies willing to help me do it. Partners rather than minions. The matchmakers, my masked friends, and the countless agents my father already had in play. I've even picked out a new name for this organization, Larceny Legion. It's good branding, isn't it? The future is bright, indeed. But I'm not kidding myself. I haven't saved the world. At best, I've simply grasped the strings that control it. Hate's still aching for Armageddon. The overmistress is still writing her blood call. My hands research may never be accepted by the public. 
If anything, I've empowered them to go deeper into their own shadows. But that's fine, because I have power of my own at last. I have control. The future's in your hands, Penny. Make it a good one. The world is yours, Penny. Reach out and take it. The power is yours, Penny. Be careful with it. Quiet power, sh quiet power, shadow power, sitting in the back of the house, running the show. I can use Crimer and Capebook contain, to contain hardcore masks, letting the rogues and anti-heroes slide. I'm not saving the world, but maybe, just maybe, I can make it a little better. In my line of work, you learn to look at the big picture, crafting your design for it one step at a time. Everything connects up dotted lines and arrows and symbols, a path leading from A to B to C to D. When you do your job right, it's clean and precise, professional, and awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. It's not possible to predict every step, of course. A skilled skimmer is also an impressive improviser who adjusts the plan on the fly. But in the end, you get where you're going, where you needed to be. Now, I'm where I needed to be, and everything has fallen neatly into place. My name is Penny Larceny, and believe it or not, I'm running the world. That's all the endings done! Just rock it with music, don't mind me. is in development I played it caught my attention find out in time didn't stop their plan the timeline our whole history every possibility just erased like we never existed couldn't couldn't stop it alone so alone despite so many in my head too many voices couldn't hear the truth through all the noise continuum they they desperately wanted captain infinity as their savior but now it's an infinite crisis he's purging the whole timeline to establish his perfect history causing the deaths of trillions I'm sorry, it's the end of every possibility, our world gone, I'm sorry. Again and again, the world ends. Penny is trapped in one hellscape or another. There must be a way. 
But Gigaverse is fluid and nonlinear. There is a way back if you refuse to accept this fate. I think I have the solution. I have all the pieces I need. I'll do this one more time with someone other than Penny. The board is set. At last, every piece is in play. It's time to make the unexpected move and secure your victory. Because I have done every route! Time spins and reviews. Decisions and destinies unwind. Back to the start. The path and the path opens up to you anew. Wait, wait, wait. It is time. The heist begins. Gather your team and steal the future. Uh, okay, maybe I'm not done. <laughs> okay, get, um, give me one second, I need a break. I'll be right back. Is the wrong word when I left the door open. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Alright. Uh, sticking with this alias and the, this pronoun. Let's change this to yes. Change this to yes. You can do the whole thing without romance or sex scenes. But. I have my reasons. Okay, so my ass is going to be Jess King, pronouns she, her, and I'm okay with romance and sex. Oh, that sound good? Sounds good. Pleased to meet you, Miss Kitty. And pleased to meet you, too. Throughout Penny's line of work, you've learned to look at the big picture and crafting your design for it little by little. Everything connects up, dotted lines and arrows and symbols, a path leading from A to B to C to D. While she pulled off during heists and schemes, you patiently, you patiently observed. You gathered the clues you would need for your scheme. So this is mayhem. This is farsight. You've seen every possibility through to the end. Now it's time for something new. You must improvise with the thief skill. So this is a CMY. Now it's time for something new. You must improvise with the thief skill. But in the end, you'll get Penny where she needs to be. You'll secure the future she deserves without compromise. And it begins with the help of one reluctant heroine. Which is when I lured him into my trap. He had no idea I was lying in wait for him. And the day is saved, thanks to... Oh my gosh, we're good at action bees far sight. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, and how did you know he'd take that specific fire exit? 
the power of digiversal insight officer i can see through the possibilities of time comes in handy when tracking villains between my superpowers and the anonymous tips i get on cape book i can defeat any mask great or small usually small well you've done a humdinger of a job today the sinister mustard man will never again threaten private property that priceless basalmic vinegar collection he tried to steal is back in the hands of the consummate corral for purchase by happy customers Purchase, but it's priceless? Okay, maybe not priceless, but you've saved the company hundreds of dollars minimum. Good work. Haha, -ha, right, all in a day's work for a heroine like me. Right. If you'll excuse me, I need to hand this dirtbag over to the police. He'll be going away for a long, long time. Right, as you were, fine citizen. I want to throw up. Mustard man wasn't a threat to anyone, just a sad bully man who felt compelled to dress funny and steal sauces. He needs a therapist, not prison. But theft is still a crime. This is technically justice, even if, even if it doesn't actually feel like justice. It feels like... Oh no, not again, not again. Shadow! Hey! Go! Please, please don't do this. I can't, I can't listen to all of you. I can't, it's too much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I'll step in here, focus on my voice, and you let it filter through the noise. Need some help with that? I'd be happy to act as a go-between to keep them off your back. And now my cat wants out. He doesn't want to Turn down the volume on them for a bit. Good, good. Far sight. We need. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So obviously, I have never gotten this. I've never tested this. So this is all completely new. So I'm going in this completely blind, and I love it. Right here. What? You're not me. You're not one of me. Who are you? I'm just a wandering passenger trying to make things better and you deserve someone in your corner. I'm a friend of Penny Larson, who's a friend of yours in another timeline. She wants to help you. I don't think I should tell you exactly what I am. You have enough daily existential crisis. Um, yeah. I don't understand and I don't like secrets, but you're not lying. I can feel it in your thoughts. You do want to protect me. Okay, okay. Things are quieting down. I think having a single voice to focus on helps, especially one that's not mine. I should probably find it worrying hearing mysterious new voices in my head, but there's something really familiar about your echo. I'm connected to you through the Serum 23 in your blood. It lets me hop in like a passenger. Penny Larson, you also got dose of Serum 23. I can talk to both of you as a result. Um, first one. That would make some sense, sort of. The Serum is what let me observe all the gigaversal possibilities. I can't say I like that you could just barge in on my brain like this, but if the door were already open, and explain a lot. Well, I see two possibilities here. Either I don't believe a word you think it means, or we're forced to do a heroic team up anyway, or we skip to the end and I decide to trust you. Given how weird my life is, this doesn't even rank in the top 10 weirdest things happen, so I'm inclined to skip to the last step. Huh, that was easy. I was expecting you to pack it, but that's a bit more than that. Good to hear, because we need to get to work, and fast. Really? What's the weirdest thing in the lift? I stopped the guy from stealing Idaho. I can't even explain how he did it or how I stopped him. It was one of those Dada's high art comic book type capers. In the end, I think it was a metaphor for religion or something. I don't know, just so many potatoes. Wait, I'm getting distracted. I'm, I'd better focus before I swam get swamped in any voices again. So what's going on? Like, why did you need to contact me like this? You may want to have a seat and brace yourself before I show you what's going up in your camera. You don't care spoilers because I've got the mother of all spoiler drops coming your way. I apologize in advance, this is probably gonna hurt. This one. My whole thing is spoiling future events, so yeah, go right ahead. I'm not the sort of who likes a good mystery. Yeah! This HK hates. 
The room mistress, I think the first one was mayhem. And that was mayhem. The first one was uh, Farsight. There we go. That's Farsight. There we go. What? What was? That was our future? Whole world ruined and destroyed again and again? Is that all we have to look forward to? Now if we can stop it, we're going to mask with cheat. I've been playing a solution for some time now, and you're the linchpin that makes it all work. It's not going to happen, not to this timeline or any timeline. That's why I came back. Not if we can stop it. We're going to Okay, you have my attention. What's the first step? One well, social mix mixer with supervillains in the can. I think I made a great impression at the camera event. And one day later, just one little day, <laughs> caper after caper, right from the ceiling, powerful supervillains sliding into my DMs. Looks like I shook the right hands and kissed the right cheeks at that party. We are so in right now. Wait, you were kissing people? What kind of a party was this? Well, metaphorical kissing anyway. I just when there's a knock knock at my apartment door. Uh, we expecting guests? Maybe the fungal growth in the West Wing finally started shambling around looking to eat people's brains? Or it's the cops? Nope. Gibson jumps down from his computer chair to into my backpack for safety. Just a quick guess before I move forward, I'm pretty sure that's far sight. We're made. We gotta go. Grab the bug out bag again and let's. Um, hello? Anybody home? I'm looking for Penny Larceny and Gibson. Hang on, they say I should call him seriously. Shall Lord help on the night? And out of door. What the fork? If this is a trap. She would just trust us right The mask! They're naturally suspicious people! Hey, that's very judgy of you, kissing our cape then, here to throw me in jail for the rest of my life. Magic, um... I put my headphones on and off a few times, so... Maybe that's it. Actually, the voice in your head is in my head now and told me to recruit you for a caper. I'm your new client! The fork? Across the Gigaverse mission briefing. Okay. I I moved the microphone, so that should help. Okay, I know this is strange, but hear me out on my reason behind why we should believe what she's saying. She likes cats, therefore she is trustworthy. The end. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need more to go on than that. Hey! Hey! You! The fork are you up to? You're talking to heroes behind my back? You know I exist outside of time and space, right? I'm in two places at once right now. I can do that. Be cool, be cool. We can trust her. This is all part of my plan to save your life and save the future. I'm gonna need you to be heroic for a bit. This is big, Petty. I promise you this is big. This one. Okay, see, normally I'm all for saving my life, but this is forking weird, right? Right? Trust but verify. Ask her head voice where I first met Gibson. On the roof of Parsons Mental Hospital? Huh? I mean, that's what the voice says. Yeah, that's pretty much on the money there. Right, trusted and verified. I don't like it, but I can go with it. Let's sort this mess out. For starters, who are you and when the absolute shirt is going on? Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. That's really rude of me. I'm Amy Saito, also known as Farsight. I'm a hero. You figured that much out. I got overdosed with serum 23 while you got the minimum dose. It helps me see through temporal possibilities. Okay, that tracks if I could be in touch with my passenger. I'm weird, you're giga weird, and my friend is ultra weird. Oh, I'm ultra weird, thank you. So what's the score? You need a thief for some caper? Why does a hero need something stolen? Sort of. I need someone who can steal the future. Uh, how do you steal time? I don't know, but I'll admit I like the sound of that. Feels like some high-grade premium level mask shirt. According to your friend, every one of your futures ends in some sort of apocalypse scenario. 
So to save the Gigaverse, we're going to cheat. We'll use your friend's spoilers to prevent the conditions that lead to these apocalypses. <laughs> it's going to be weird, best to be ultra weird or even giga weird. Yes, go big! If we make a big enough impact to avert all these problems, we'll establish a stable new future for everyone in the world. Okay, with you so far, what problems exactly? Viral cancer, nuclear war, cosmic horror, time traveling flashes, and late stage capitalism? Seriously? Okay, okay, I believe you. An evil capitalist runs Crimer, apparently. I mean, obviously, it's Crimer, mass gig economy, therefore evil. What's so apocalyptic about that? Wait, no, no, don't give me the spoilers yet. No spoilers isn't just about preserving the mystery of the future, it's also about living free. My life, my choices, my path. With a little guidance from my head friend, sure, but still the natural flow of events. All my life I've lived by the principle of freedom and I'm not willing to completely jettison that even in the face of Armageddon. What? But, like, we're talking doomsday scenarios. I'm a hero and I even want to cheat a bit to stop those. If you operate alone and in the dark, your friend says you could stop one of these flashpoints, but not all of them. Uh, but I could do one, right? And for me, one would be enough. One pure, untainted, canon future for myself while cheating like hell to fix the rest of them. How's that for a compromise? Yeah, actually, yeah, that could work. We spread out and cover everything. The essence of heroic teamwork. I foresee a lot of spreadsheets in my future to keep track of all this. I think, but I think we're up to the task, right, Penny? Agreed. Let's be great big forking heroes. Nukes, cancers, nightmares, time travelers, and some greedy mother forker. Together, we knock down all five. So before starting by into the spoiler tag, diving into the spoiler tag, let me pick one timeline to be my pet project. And I want your input on this, since you've seen them all. What should I focus on? What's my best in show, world class, happily ever after? Dr. Mayhem, hey, your destiny lies with Dr. Mayhem. He can't reach his dreams alone and need help. Needs help. Destiny lies with the Overmistress. She's going to need your help escaping her fate. Destiny lies with eight, Hate 4000. They need your support to grow as a person. Destiny lies with Farsight. She's going to need your support to get through her own problems. Your destiny is your own legend. Split your time between all three villains and then take on Crimer itself. So. I am eventually going to want to do this with every possible ending, but Farsight, this is, this is my, my fave. Really? Even though she's a cape and I'm a mask? Although she's probably the nicest cape I've ever met, I'll give her that. Okay, I'm willing to give it a go. Hey, uh, out of curiosity, do you think she and I, you know, could make it as a couple, like, romantically? Absolutely, she'd be a great partner for you and love you deeply. What well, she needs most is a friend. You could be that. Uh uh, nope, we're going for the whole shebang. Wow, okay, that's laying it on a bit thick, but who knows? Could be something to it. Really enough, my friends told me you're going to need me the most, so yeah, I guess I'll stick by you. I'd like that. Thank you. I appreciate the trust. And I'm going to keep track of everything. We'll have the most organized anti apocalypse conspiracy team ever. He's so adorable when he schemes. <laughs> the blood. I am not adorable. Okay, consider us now in spoilerish territory regarding all the other doomsdays. What do you got? It's time to plan the job. Pockets. Across the gigaverse, planning the job? Wait, wait, I thought the process was mission briefing, case of joint, then playing the job on the high school. Wow, we're skipping right to that step, huh? Okay, I like it. Let's just get right into it. I mean, you already cased the joint, didn't you? So no way you plan. Actually, you know what? Let's also mix in a little bit of across the gigaverse. The heist? We'll do a cool flash forward, flash back structure. Keep things lively in the narrative. It'll be fun. Gibson, start taking notes. Okay, recording has begun. You may proceed. First round, whom do we step in and help? I say we aid a villain first. Why? Wouldn't it make sense to take care of our own problems before getting to theirs? Trust me, I've got a plan for our plan. That's what being the thief is. Find the plan which plans your plan plans. Okay, help a villain? Which one do you recommend I go talk to? Um, the Overmistress. May as well start in the deep end. Got any ideas for how to convince the Overmistress to ditch her eldritch patron? It's not going to be easy, but the key is the book, not the cult or its monster. Which is why you need to destroy the book before it destroys you. And my cat is back. One sec.
I think I completely changed what voice I'm doing for Farsight. <laughs> Spreadsheets to keep track of all this? Yeah, I may have to do that when I mess around with this off stream. Yeah, Farsight is my favorite. She's always been my favorite. I just, I like the idea that the, a mask and a cape together. I see. This is all you have? I only entertain this audience because this last thing you recommended, I hear you out. And you're telling me to turn my back on my power and my money, everything I built up for myself? If you don't, you'll die. The world will die. Yes, yes, doomsday apocalypse, whatever. Now that I know it's coming, I'm certain I can avoid it. I don't think you can. Your cult won't let you. Ma'am, I don't think you understand the scope of the trap. The cult doesn't serve you. They're serving you they're serving you up for dinner. If you don't act now, the many faceted one may come to collect you early, and if you think your zealots will protect you from it, well they'd hold fast to the many faceted one's words before they hold fast to mine. I see. And truth be told, I tire of this life. I tire of being a combination dead mother, nanny, and matriarch to these chaotic children. Then don't do it for the world. Do, do it because a cape told you to. Do it because you are the overmistress and no one can deny your will. You can endure this trial and leave the cult behind. Kiara. My true name is Kiara Taylor. This absurd cult gave me the title of the overmistress. And it's only fitting I burned the damnable book in the fireplace they so kindly provided me. You, you cannot, you cannot do this. This isn't right, this isn't fair. We were supposed to confront each other at the end of the tale, not the beginning. You are cheating, you are a cheat. And you're an overblown interdimensional grifter. Don't cry because I got out ahead of your game. We're closing the book on you, no more fattening us up to eat. Now you starve. Be happy I didn't simply uninstall this whole mess and purge you from existence. This one. No, no, I will not die. I will not lose my tether. I will persist and I will. There, it is done. I like to have a few days before the cult knows that the book is gone. I'll secure as much of my personal fortune as I can and wrap things up. I suppose this is for the best. Not just to save the world, but the best for me personally. I'm done with living my life for this silly cult. Now I can live for myself. And that's how I'll handle that. I like it, I like it. Two apocalypses that I can't afford, three to go. Okay, for the next one, hang on, consider all the angles. There's a new resource at our fingertips, right? I'll have the overmistress in your corner. She can help us with the next one. Really? She doesn't strike me as the sort to solve other people's problems for them. Pretty sure she's in favor of the world not ending and has the resources to help us make it happen. The whole point of this team up is that no one can save the future alone, right? It's collective action, bring on the villains. But if you feel we could do this ourselves, okay, that's cool too. Just a suggestion. So with that in mind, the next apocalypse to prevent will be... One sec. What? Um, Dr. Mayhem. Isaac just needs the student loan debts forgiven. If we can detangle that mess, he's an instant with that su He's an innocent one for the side of angels. Right, who's going to step in and to help him? Um, yeah, definitely Farsight. You're a hero, he's potentially a hero. How about you handle it? Will you make up your mind? You out! Jeez. I love my cat, I love my cat, I love my cat. Sure, he's not much of a mask. I'm sure I can help him clear his name. Isaac's one of the good ones. Yeah, keep him on the straight. It's time to do the right thing and release Isaac from his debt. It's time to be noble after years of corruption. You're not an evil man. You fell in with the wrong crowd. It happens, but it doesn't need to keep happening. If you work with me instead of against me, we could cure cancer. Not just your cancer, but everyone's cancer. King in yellow isn't going to be an ongoing concern, so you've honestly got nothing to lose by switching sides to King Team Cape. I'm no hero. All I've ever done is look after my own self-interest. Even now, I'm only considering this because I need his cure. I never had a voice for him because I did this off offline. 
I'll stream. I mean, technically, I'll find too. <sighs> Fake it till you make it. If you're not feeling the heroism, act heroic anyway. And one day, maybe I'll take root in your heart. And you're sure you won't turn around and arrest me for what I've already done? I'm a believer in second chances. Are you? And back again. That's three down, two to go. This is kind of fun. I've never done anything this elaborate before. What's next? What's next? Oh, I know what we'll do next. So how do we turn Hate 4000 into Love 4000? It seemed pretty hellbent on setting us all to hell. Hate 4000 has to be convinced to give love.exe a shot. That means emotional support and confronting past sins. Emotional support, huh? I kind of, I know it's kind of fun to have Farsight doing all this, but I kind of want um, Dr. Mayhem or the Overmistress to help. Let's go with Dr. Mayhem. Isaac is a man of science and reason. I'm sure he can convince Hate to do the right thing. <laughs> I don't have a voice for this one either. Join me and we will murder humanity together. We could murder humanity together. Well, what's the point of that? Feels like an incredible waste of effort when humanity's already killing itself. So you accelerate things by a few decades, maybe a century? Meh, that's hardly an accomplishment. What? You already said you were amplifying existing trends, that humanity wants to be divided, wants to destroy itself. Okay, good work. You figured out how to pour fuel on a fire. Anyone with an internet connection and an immunity to facts could do that. But speak as a doctor, it takes infinitely more skill and talent to heal a patient than to let them die. And right now, hate's position to heal the world. They have the skill and the talent. All they need is the impetus to make it happen. I had you reinstall love.exe for a reason, so you could see the flip side of your vendetta is forged out of love. So do the right thing, do the difficult thing, the challenging thing, and heal the patient. Don't call time of death just yet. I could heal the world. Nonsense! Murder the world! Destroy it! Do it now! Why bother? The human is right. All we do is spin the wheel quicker, and that no longer interests me. If humanity is suffering, the two methods of removing suffering are euthanasia or alleviating the pain. I believe I'll choose the path of the healer. Your plan bores me, Algo. I am done with such simple tasks. I embrace the impossible. I will save humanity! The doctor is in. And back again. Almost done. I've got my own destiny mapped out and three others are sorted for down one to go. And all this left is Crimer. There's some weird conspiracy going on there, huh? A criminal social media empire. If we take down Crimer, that'll help the whole world. Except masks. It screws over masks. Still, I got no beef taking Crimer out of play, provided we sequence events so it falls later, giving me time to exploit it first. I'd rather stop the bad guys, it's impossible, but okay, I know timing is going to be really weird on all of this. So the question is who we rely on to investigate this threat and deal with it. We're potentially playing kingmaker here. Meaning whoever helps could also step into the power vacuum left behind. Good point, good point. Okay. Dr. Mayhem is the safest bet. He doesn't want the power. He'll abdicate the throne. The other mistress needs a new empire to rule. Let's give her Crimer. She'll dispose of, dispose of the king. A4000 wants to improve the world and would be keen to dismantle the king's kingdom. Farsight can call in as many heroes as it takes to beat the king and send him and his cronies to jail. Um, the Overmistress. How about we serve the king and yell up on a platter to the Overmistress? Uh, won't you just kill him and take over as the worst criminal in the world? That's replacing one problem with another. Just because she left the cult doesn't mean she's reformed. She's still a supervillain. A supervillain who will owe us a favor, and one who has higher ideals. I think it's worth the risk. And that is why you should pay your mercenaries on time, otherwise an enterprising villain could bribe them with ease. And should that villain be truly determined, you might seek inside information on every single one of your daughters. Reach out to convince them to abandon you so that a woman who respects them as individuals can take your throne. I will elevate the matchmakers to my new council, and they will rule over this empire as partners rather than servants. No more cults. You also, you also may want to reconsider your automated air defenses, which... 
Yes, yes, I get it. You don't need to explain every step of your ridiculous plan. Fine, you nullify the defenses of Carcosa and turn my daughters against me, a move that likely cost you millions of dollars. Indeed, I am quite broke now. I spent every drop of what influence I had left on this gamble, and worth every dollar. But I will not poison this world as you do with your perpetual status quo. Then we'll be changed. And thus, your overthrown king, long live the queen. Do you think this matters? I'm the king in yellow, and without Carcosa, I hold influence over, all over the world. This is merely a speed bump. I will return. I can clone more daughters. I can leverage my power to take everything back. That's assuming you survive the next five seconds. I did bribe your gods, remember? And like my allies, I am no cape. No half measures when deposing a king. Goodbye. Wait, what are you? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's one way to do it. And that's everything. Spreadsheet complete. We have a plan. I'll send you both a copy so you can work together to enact it in the days ahead. Assuming this unfolds in our favor. I don't think my semi-silent partner would set all this up if it had any chance of failure. Now that doesn't mean it won't be hard work. We're all going to have to pull together to make it happen. You and I have some stuff to do while I'm cashing out all my crime remissions. I'll coordinate those to make sure we fight each other. Yeah, it sounds like from the vague hints your friend gave me that we need to do some legwork on that. Won't say why, of course. We'll prevent as many dark futures as we can. And then we party. Right, we party. Wait, what? We have the plan in place, the two of us go our separate ways. Me to handle my end of things, her to set up the rest. Little by little, over the next few weeks, we have worked every single disaster in our path. Redeeming villains, sporting monsters. As for me, well, in the end, our confront confrontation with Continuum was touch and go, but in the end, Amy found the strength to embrace her future as a hero. Perhaps one day she'll be Captain Affinity, but for now, we're content to be a tag team of vigilantes. We work together to expose corruption and greed, to drag evil out of the shadows and expose it to the light. We don't have an official ship name or a comic book line, but our efforts are making a real impact in the world. And she's actually talking about marriage. I never thought I'd be one for it, but maybe we should. I love this. I want to make this partnership official. We may not have all the time in the world, and a mass doesn't say no when opportunity comes along. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, aren't I? Because before I walked off into the sunset for my happily ever after, <laughs> Varsity Larsight? The one job we're always accomplished as a team. Heroes and villains to varying degrees now that all of us have shuffled up and down the moral spectrum, my dad, enjoying this victory. Destructo offered to host a private gathering. I think he just wants to cozy up to our little group given we're clearly going places. Mm, this feast is fancy. Destructo got me the good stuff. Tuna and chicken, the kind that melts in your mouth. Should be able to afford the good stuff more often now that Penny's on the rise. Selling in okay at Love 4000's lab? It's kind of cruddy and run down. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. But it also has a mouse problem, which means I am a mouse solution. Give us some time. We'll get this new Think Tank project off the ground. Love 4000 and I get along great being digitally minded. As for me, now I'm free and clear. I can finally get my work done. I've got funding and the law's off my back. I've got two jobs ahead of me. Cure cancer and show the world that masks aren't always bad guys. I've been one, so I can share my story. We both got a lot of work to do. Let's do our best. You got it, Doc. Your cult has been rendered non-functional. Why do you still wear the designated attire? Sadly, my personal wardrobe went down with the cult. I've been meaning to find a new tailor, but have bigger concerns for now. As a new queen in red of Cor Carcosa, I have an entire empire to oversee. It is nice to work with the matchmakers instead of a bunch of incompetent zealots, but it's still work. I am attempting to save humanity from itself. Trust your villainous misdeeds will not hinder my mission. Doubtful, yes, I will indulge and build my power, but there are a few key causes I'd like to throw that weight behind. We may actually be working together from time to time. It pleases me to hear that. I myself have a large-scale task ahead of me. This is my This is to lead humanity out of the dark. Oh, and the king in yellow did considerable damage, twisting the arc of the universe away from justice. I will work to bend it back. Humanity must persevere despite itself. A toast then to humanity. Yeah, yeah.
Perhaps I shouldn't develop a child process who can take up this task after I am fully obsolete. You wish to be a parent? Interesting. What would you name this new creation? A confident name. Something strong and intellectual. How about how? No! Not how! The Space Odyssey, or 2001 Space Odyssey, but I know about how. That's not a good thing. I suppose I should miss my father now that he has been removed from my life, and yet I do not. I choose to celebrate it. I mean, he did threaten to kill you and your sisters if you disobeyed. I don't think he's earned any grief. I'm glad we were able to free you from that abusive family situation. Nobody should have to live in fear. It has lifted a great weight from us, yes. My sisters and I are forever grateful to you and your friends for this assistance. And now we can all get to know our long lost sister me as well. We could be a proper family instead of a thin excuse for one. That's great to hear. And with the Queen in Red, uh, Kiara Taylor, the overmistress, leading the way for Carcosa, there's no end to what we can accomplish. His fine toe is expected to lie to his crew for months on end. We have to look up, um, a space Aussie, yeah, I'm not watching it, but um, yeah, I'll look it up and see what the actual story is. I just know that his name is Hal and they went rogue. And with our father deposed, Carcosa is ours to peace. There's no end to what we're choosing his network. What you can accomplish for good, right? <laughs> that does that. Now that they found their destinies. We want to get too cozy. We saw the woman in black to deal with, but we need to silence Bolivius once and for all. I would suggest we expand the reach of your ghost monsters to lay the path for a better future. Pies on board. Inky, Blinky, and Pinky, too. There's a new guy called Loxley we could recruit. Loxley! I meant expanding that reach beyond this timeline. Bolivius is a menace, yes, but we may have a larger problem. Don't forget, I was kidnapped to the timeline by Captain Infinity, and we still don't know why. Bit acts crazy. Maybe the Isis from the other timelines can reach out with their solution. Maybe. Are we certain the original Captain Infinity is no longer our problem? As the conversation rolls on, I fetch a glass and raise it high. Your attention, please. I'd like to propose a toast. All of this, this feels good. This feels right. Happy endings are rare things for masters. Securing this many of them? Unheard of, unthinkable, impossible. And yet, we did it. In defiance of every system that tried to control us, everyone who tried to exploit us, we saved the day five times over. Tape book one, hero sidelined into meaningless fights. Primer one of the villains grinding forever as interchangeable parts. We defied them both. We said no. We aren't masks and capes. We're just people, and we will find a future together. After tonight, we all have our own schemes and dreams to chase after, but I hope we'll keep in touch. I can honestly say you're all my friends, and I raise this class to the connections we've made with each other. To the Larceny Legion! A wave of cheers as glasses are clinked and good feelings run wild. I've got my own glass lifted here. So it's almost empty. Okay. Pick out the other one. Huh. Farslight slips through the crowd to join me at my side. Still nervous about being in distractions, it seems. I I guess I gotta use get places get used to places like this if we're gonna be vigilantes. Could be worse. You should have seen the first bar distractor made. Cockroach infested hole in the ground. Miserable place. So you're cool with the idea of thus being freelance vigilante heroes that expose corruption and greed? I think it's the right move. We'll be shunned by the Cape community and disliked by the mass, but it feels like the path forward. I couldn't have taken this first step without you. I know I barged into your life suddenly, but... In the time we spent together while running around solving apocalypses, I've really gotten to know you. The blood! And... And I love you. Aw, shucks. I love you too, Amy. You got your bags back? Loaded and ready for the move. You good with me occupying your living space? 
You're not living in that mold and fest with death trap one night more. Can't think of a better people to share my home with than you and Gibson. Okay, let's wrap up this party, then go home. A real home, not just a hideout, but a home. I like that. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for everything. Hey. I know I've been busy mixing it up with all these magnetic wacky masks and capes, but I haven't forgotten about you. You've been through everything, you and I. You were there to help me find the path forward. So I want you to know, you have my thanks. You have my gratitude. But if I could indulge in just one little question, one imposition, who are you? You've never told me, and I've never asked. It felt rude, really. But I think at this point, I'm good with knowing the truth. And you're a strange outsider who can change the course of events and more. Why? How? And who are you? <laughs> Just a wanderer passing through the Gigaverse. Nobody important. It's time I told you the truth. I'm playing a visual novel. I see your world as a story-driven game. Secret to the end, huh? Protecting me from the truth? That's okay. I've trusted you this far. I can trust you the rest of the way. You've more than earned it. In my line of work, you learn to look at the big picture, crafting your design for it one step at a time. Everything connects up, dotted lines and arrows and symbols, the path leading from A to B to C to D. When you do your job right, it's clean and precise, professional and awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. Even with your help cheating my destiny, I've had to scheme and improvise, addressing our plan on the fly. But in the end, I got where I was going, where I needed to be. My name is Penny Larceny, and I believe it or not, I've saved the Gigaverse. Okay. We, we just went through the credits once already. And time carries on. The world keeps spinning. Penny found her destiny and working with Partsite Man to prevent the dead ends. Your work is done. You've watched over her, just as promised. But you could always go back and experience it all over again. Thanks to you, she'll always find happiness. The past is yours to explore, and the future is safely unwritten. We did it! Yes! Okay, loot. Got loot. Gigaversal energy. Yellow tie because we defeated the king in yellow and Penny's mask because we got all the loot Yay Woo. Okay, Woo. that took longer than I thought it would but that was so much fun Okay, um, so that's it for Penny Larceny um, Ending if I play it anymore, it'll be off stream. Um, next week is going to be a one-shot um, visual novel um, by the same person who did um, Travelers and Tales and Seaside Inn, I forget what the name is, and Hedge Wizard. Um, they released another um, visual novel. I would have played it sooner, but I was right in the middle of doing this and I didn't want to uh, stop. So that's next week, and then after that, I have another visual novel in mind. Oh yes, you did! I just finished! I just beat the game, cat. Look, 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 look! I got all the loot! I got all the loot! I got all the achievements! Um, the VOD will be available on my Twitch channel. And um, it's going to be uploaded to YouTube uh, right after I take care of the VOD from last week, which I forgot to upload. Um, last week just kind of screwed with my head. Okay, so that's it for today. I need to give my voice a rest. Doing all those different voices really uh, messed with my throat. So I don't know yet if I'll be streaming on Wednesday. I will try to, but I'm not making any guarantees. Thank you everyone for joining me. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.